We have had the privilege of going to some pretty amazing places and doing some pretty amazing experiences since we started traveling. And today we're going to share some of those with you. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Sarah and this is my husband David and we have been in Canada for the last 18 months. But soon that's coming to an end and we are going to be traveling the globe once again. We just thought that we would run through our top 10 ultimate favorite mind-blowing experiences since traveling so far and then in the next few videos we will do our top 10 absolute worst because we have had some bad experiences very bad experiences in different countries so we'll run through those then let's get into this one we've both decided on our very best experience and we're going to leave that one till right at the end, so make sure you stick around to find out what that is. First one on our list is the Dead Sea in the Middle East. What an experience. I remember walking into the Dead Sea, looking at it, it was so calm, so beautiful, and then I just felt pain <laughs> under my feet. Because <laughs> no one talks about this. But. You need shoes to go in the Dead Sea. It's like walking on broken glass. The salt is so sharp. It sets on like on the bed of the Dead Sea and it is so sharp. But luckily for me, because I didn't have shoes, you can literally float in about this much water. So from quite shallow, I just went on my stomach and like swam out. Yeah, yeah. So. But overall, the experience was good. I wish I had different shoes because I, I ended up going in with sandals on. And those sandals were oily for weeks because there's yeah. so much, so many like minerals in the water and it just like absorbed into my shoes. Yeah, wear something that's like plastic or rubber or something. Something that won't absorb because... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, this is sounding like the worst experience. <laughs> it was not. It was like the best experience ever. I can't even explain what it feels like to get in water and you're just floating. Like yeah, in it's deep so cool. water. You literally can't sink if you try. It's so cool. Like, yeah. So much fun. I want to go back. I would love to go back. And, fun fact, it's the lowest point on Earth. So we have been the lowest point on Earth. True. Number two. Half of this one probably wasn't really David's favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, we had camel riding on the Sahara Desert, which was like overlooking the Geyser Pyramids. Mm. Very iconic experience, but I will say that it was quite terrifying as well. <laughs> I just don't mix well with animals, especially <laughs> ones that I'm riding. I mean, they're pretty unpredictable. Yeah. Like, you don't really know what's going to happen next. But that was the most surreal experience, being on a camel on the Sahara Desert and you're looking at, like, these great pyramids in Egypt. And if you haven't watched these videos, by the way, we vlogged them. They might be yeah. really bad vlogs. But go and check them out. Scroll back. All the way, we've got a playlist Back into actually. The archives. We've got a playlist yeah, of like Middle East vlogs and stuff. So go and check out those vlogs, comment on them, let us know what you think Reignite about them. skills. <laughs> the third experience scuba diving in Greece. Our first ever scuba diving experience was in Greece. Yeah, I just thought it was so much fun. I think it was just the whole like surrounds where you can just look back beautiful blue water, you're looking up at this cliffside with all these houses perched up on it mm. and there was just something about the whole experience that was kind of rugged and unprofessional yeah. and yeah. just very like raw and authentic and yeah. I just, it was really cool. One of the most beautiful and scenic things we've ever yeah. done. And then from there that's where we just started loving scuba diving. Yeah. Number four we had the rice fields that we saw in Bali in Indonesia. Absolutely epic. To see that like rice comes from like grass. <laughs> it's a, it's Pretty a much. plant. I don't know it, what is it is a plant. And like to see it in its like greenery and then seeing people harvest it as well and like they have to shake the plants or grass or whatever to get the rice out. It's just such a crazy process, but it was so beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's really nice and even seeing the way that those terraces is all to do with their irrigation mm. system and everything 
seeing how it all works and then seeing just the beauty of like this lush green everywhere and then the the terraces look really awesome as well. Just another mind-blowing experience. Yeah, highly underrated as well. Definitely. Someone's been naughty. Number five is obviously RVing in the Canadian Rockies for three entire months during summer. Yeah, that was crazy. Like, I think this top 10 list, after we travel some more, some of these are gonna like slide off the back. Yeah. But I don't think RVing in the Rockies is ever gonna slide off the back of our top 10 travel things that we've ever no. done. I just think it's probably just gonna always be top 10. Yeah. There's just something about it. It's like, we feel so blessed to have been able to do that. And even some of our Canadian friends have said that they don't, they haven't seen as much of Canada as, as we have, so. Yeah. We just feel really blessed to have been able to do that and it's always going to be right up there with our top travel experiences. Yeah. Living in the mountains, that blue glacier water, like... Freezing cold blue glacier. The wildlife, like yeah. incredible light, it's just... Ah, uh, living out of Monty. Yeah. That was such a good time. Anyway. Campfires, sausages on a stick, s'mores, rivers... Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah, that was good. Number six, we had down snorkeling the Great Barrier Reef. We know it's close to our home, but honestly, it was such a cool, like really iconic experience. And people go from all over the world to do it. We're just lucky enough to have it a couple of hours flight from where we live. So we thought we'd put it in anyway just crystal clear water like probably 30 meters visibility you just at the top and you can just see these amazing reefs and these massive reef fish and it's just like a whole ecosystem there and it's just so cool yeah and we've been diving and snorkeling in other parts of the world but this like snorkeling on the gray barrier reef was just something else we yeah. still have never like snorkeled in a place like we've that. We've never been, we've never seen anything underwater like that yeah. yet. Yeah. We really hope to get back there and scuba dive it one day, but just even snorkeling it was amazing. Mind blowing. We didn't have our, um, our scuba diving certification back then, so we just stuck with snorkeling, but we really want to do the dive. Our eighth awesome but wild experience was seeing a grizzly bear on foot. That was amazing, but terrifying at the same time. But I think that one will also stay on our list for a long time. Because... Yeah, we might have to like recategorize it, but yeah. that was like, that was kind of scary and just awesome. Yeah, they're so cute though. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Their paws are like the most perfect paws I've ever seen in my life. But I just know that thing could rip me apart. <laughs> yeah. But what an experience. And what a cool animal too. They're so agile and yet they're just so big and yet so fluffy. and So cuddly. They look cuddly but they're just vicious. <laughs> Deceiving. No, they're That's mostly, they they're Deceiving. mostly just like big teddy bears. Aww, so but, cute. <laughs> you don't want to get on the wrong side of that thing. <laughs> You don't want to get on the wrong side of that teddy bear. Our actual number eight experience <laughs> is stepping on a glacier. We did that at the Columbia Ice Fields on the Icefield Parkway between Banff and Jasper. And there's just something about it. I don't know you guys, a lot of you guys probably remember that I just had this crazy fascination for glaciers as well during all of our hikes and stuff. And like something about just standing on that much ice is just really cool. Mm. And then just seeing how big they used to be compared to now, it just blows your mind. Like if you ever get to do it in person, I'd highly recommend go on a hike, go on like one of the tours where you can go on there, yeah. step on it, it's really, really, really worthwhile. Yep, if you come to Canada, go and hike the Plain of Six Glaciers and hopefully you'll see some glaciers there. Yeah, but After they haven't disappeared, yeah. Yeah. The next 
incredible experience that we've had is living on the caldera in Santorini, Greece. This is another place where we took our camera along and we vlogged it and we got two videos of Greece. So get in the playlist, go and check them out and see how much fun we had in Greece. <laughs> But that was amazing. Yeah, that's just one of those places you look back and you think, did we really stay there? Like, yeah. it was just one of those real sort of... Dreamy. Dreamy places that we've been able to stay somehow. And yeah, it's just such a cool place to have stayed. Just looking out on the... I don't know what the water body below it is, but see all the cruise ships in there at night. And yeah. And just all the white buildings all around the cliffside and... There was a crazy storm one of the days we were there and David captured that on camera. So go and check it out, blow up the video guys. But it was awesome and the food was mm. amazing as well, but definitely one of the dreamiest experiences we've had. Yeah. You know what I also love about that? Just quickly, waking up in the morning and hearing the Greek people. <laughs> like talking to each other and shouting and it was just so nice just yeah. embracing the culture it feels like a movie yeah definitely four days was way too short so our very top experience so far number 10 we agreed that a safari in south africa was our best experience so far unfortunately we didn't vlog there which really sucks. Yeah, it was pre-vlogging days, but it was <laughs> such a cool experience. Just seeing all the animals wild on safari. Um, hopefully one day we'll get back there and we can show you guys what it's actually all about. Yeah. But it was so, so cool. Mind-blowing. We saw so many animals. Four out of the big five. We yeah. saw everything except for a leopard, but just like so many other things as well. Yeah. And we came so close to lions as yeah. well. We were all just in the car and the lion was like walking close to us and we're just like, ah! I even just turned my camera off quickly because yeah. I Sarah thought was the thing was going to jump it. in. And it was like ran up to us and she stopped. I was me. just like, ah! <laughs> I thought it was going to jump in the car because we were in an open vehicle. But yeah. it was just like an incredible experience. And even experiencing like a lion's, like not even a roar, but them like breathing like is like a roar. Like yeah. it feels. The, it like the, shakes the ground. Yeah, like the sounds of animals in real life. Just like you feel it inside of you. Yeah. It's crazy. Really cool experience. Once again, highly recommend that. And hopefully we get back there one day to do it all again. That wraps up this video. But make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on our top 10 worst experiences. You will not want to miss this. Like, it will shock you the things that we've had to deal with while we've been on travel. <laughs> so make sure to subscribe, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.